everyone and welcome back to this channel. Um, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing what I got everyone for Christmas. So I'm quite excited about this one. I did actually run a poll on Instagram, which I'll put here somewhere, where I asked if it was insensitive to do this just with everything going on and majority of people said no and that they wanted this type of video and you can see here somewhere. Um, but yeah, so I, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be insensitive because the last thing that I want to do is, you know, make anyone, like, offend anyone or people to think that I'm bragging because um, I'm definitely not the type of person to, like, brag. Um, I get quite excited about things and I don't want that to get taken that way. Um, and I noticed that other people had been doing this video and the responses in the comments were all, like, excited about the festive period and you know that's exciting because I didn't want to offend anyone like I know that this year's been hard on everyone um, and a lot of people financially and I just didn't know if it would have been like a video that would have been yeah taken badly and I didn't want to kind of contribute to that aspect of things. I'm going to get into what I've got everyone so anyone that knows that I'm getting them anything for Christmas this is your time to leave please do not watch the rest of this video or you will spoil what you're getting for Christmas. So I'm really excited. Um, I've practically done majority of my Christmas shopping. There's like three things. Um, I'm just going to talk a bit quieter just in case anyone's around. Um, there was three things that I need to get. Um, I just, I stupidly was like, I'm going to get some gin gift sets because I want to get a gin gift set for Greg's mum and my mum. But guess who forgot to take their ID with them? this girl and who looks about 12 me <laughs> I get ID'd all the time although there was twice where I didn't get ID'd during lockdown and I was like um but then I feel like they might have seen me enough to know that I'm like 21 um I know I don't look it I'm gonna be 22 in January actually so that's exciting um we might be in lockdown for that though so maybe it's not that exciting but yeah so the two gin gift sets I need to probably might have to scrap that idea because anyone that are I don't really want to buy from Amazon I think I bought one thing from Amazon because like I couldn't get it anywhere else and I was like ah but I think I've only bought like one thing from Amazon and I'm like I don't want to buy anything else from Amazon like some things I've had to buy not locally but I have tried to buy from Etsy as much as I can and I love shopping on Etsy like can we just have a minute to talk about how nice Etsy is like, they have such nice things and like when people like when you buy from them they give you like little stickers or they put like something else in and it's just so nice so yes we all need to try shop from Etsy more often if we can so yeah so I need to try find those but the ones on Amazon are either like eight pound for like the five CL ones and I'm like that's tiny and I was like, hmm, or they're like really expensive. And I was like, I know it's not about the like the price that you've bought for someone. It's all about, you know, spending time with people and appreciating everyone's company at the moment because like, you know, the world's not in the best state at the moment, let's just say. Um, so, you know, I just, I wanted to try and find something that's like, I'm thinking of you, like here's some gin, but like not spend so much on it. Um. So I don't know, I might end up just trying to, because I know that Asda for a while, they did like bottles of gin for like a tenner. Um, it's probably, it's kind of out the budget for what I was going to spend on them. But like, if it's the best option, rather than this gift set, I will happily like do that if I can. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go out of my way to like spend too much. Um, I know, like, see when you look at everything that's out, you're like, oh my god, I don't have enough. But this year, I'm trying to remind myself it's not about the gifts that you're given. It's about spending time with your family and, you know, like, being able to treat them. Like, even if it doesn't seem as much to others, like, you still done your best and you thought of them. So, yeah. So, I I'm sorry if I get really excited about things that I've got. Because there's just a couple of things, or maybe a lot of things, that I'm, like, really, really excited for people to see. So, they're kind of just spread out behind me. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to like try do this the best I can. So where shall we start? Okay, I'm gonna start with like my mom and dad and sisters and then we'll move down the line. So, okay, so I'm gonna start off with my mom and I'm really excited about this gift. Like they're all downstairs, but apart from Lucy, but she's watching something on the iPad. So like she will not hear me at all. But um, oh, just, that's just that box. I'll try and move it around a little bit. Um. So if any one of you 
who's watching this knows my mum um you'll know so I'm really sorry about my eyebrows I'm getting them done on Tuesday sorry I just like noticed that and I was like no thank you so yeah if anyone who knows my mum knows how much of a Hibs fan she is like she is a like Hibs number one fan like the football team if you don't know that's what that is I know that there's a lot of people that watch from all over but so yeah she's a massive massive Hibs fan and I was just scrolling on Etsy and I found these they're original Hibs programs but they're from um was it 1971 to 1978 I think I can't remember but so basically before she was born when she was born and like a couple of like a little bit after she was born so there's like all of these original um programs and it's like they're kind of, like I've not seen my mum's old but like if you look at the programs you get now versus what they were like then it's like wild and I think she's gonna love them like I hope she will I mean I think she will because it's hips related and because it's got like that meaning behind it um so I'm really really excited but it's funny because like they're so cheap like from back then I'm just putting it back in a little bag that it came in um they were 5p they think they went up to 20p or like was it 15p like throughout the whole of them so that's meaning behind that and I got them from Etsy and it was so nice like see when I saw that I was like I have to get that sorry I'm trying to figure out where I'm putting this um but I was really chuffed with that I told my grandma and she was like oh my god like I would never have thought about that um so yeah obviously I would have got her a gin gift set I'm still going to get her one I just stupidly didn't bring my ID so I need to try and go to like Aldi or like Asda and just get like gin or like a gift set like we'll just need to see how that goes um I never like I just kind of got this because she's so into like perfume like Jimmy Choo but I'm on a budget because there's so many people that I have to buy for that I was like my dad usually gets her that but then the, was it last year or the year before I got her Beyonce heat and she really really liked it so I got her it again because she's ran out of all perfume so I know that she's gonna love it because she really did run out and she really needed some and um, this one she's gonna be really excited about um she kept because I mentioned it and she was like oh my god yes so she's not really a chocolate person but I got her a personalized quality street tin and it's got her favorites in it the strawberry creams the orange ones and I think I misheard her I think she said just the green one that's just like a chocolate just chocolate but I got her the triangle by accident because I couldn't remember and because they kept selling out like super super fast I was like stressing out like oh my god they're not gonna have them it's gonna be such a disaster but I managed to get to um and I'll we'll find out who the one's for soon <laughs> um but yeah so that's exciting and it comes with like a little card that says happy christmas although i made a typo <laughs> typo in the card it says merry christmas hope you have enjoy i obviously didn't mean the have so it's hope you enjoy all your sweets love megan so i was like oof but see because the quality street box is such a noticeable shape i'm actually putting it in this box that it came in just so she can't be noticed and be like oh my god you got me quality streets like oh my god sorry my hair's annoying me she wouldn't actually do it like that but um yeah so that and a gentleman gift set that i'm going to get is for my mum and i'm excited about that um for my dad i think this is everything i can't find anything else so i think this is everything some things may not make sense but like i'll explain so you may be like what is this so i got him a portable charger because he's always asking for mine always needing to charge his phone so i was like what better way than to get him i'm actually no i thought i was holding upside down what better way than to get him his own so i got him one um that's really good because greg knows all his technical stuff so i got him that also got him oh yes i got this from work i got him a what is it 2.2 2 liter water bottle because he is always like he's not good at hydrating himself at all like he'll drink coffee all day every day like he says he drinks water like he might drink it occasionally i was like you have no reason to not hydrate so but it's so exciting my dad's nearly stopped smoking for a year it'll be a year in january he'd stop smoking and i'm so proud of him so i'm like you just really need to like keep yourself hydrated so 
but it's such a good achievement that he's managed to stop smoking for almost a year so it's really really exciting um <laughs> this might not seem like a great present to some people but i got him a diary because as well not everyone will know because i don't really talk about my parents in depth maybe we should do the video where you get to know my parents because i think that would be fun um and they love being on the channel they think it hilarious especially when they get to drink on it um <laughs> but i got him a diary because my dad's a bricklayer so he built houses and like walls and that like sort of thing um and he's always forgetting where he's at or not being able to keep track of everything so i thought what better way than to get him a diary that he can like keep track of everything so i did get him three things that he needs um and they were just kind of like those were just smaller things and then i got him the versace aftershave set um, they're quite small, a lot smaller than I had anticipated, but as they say, it's a thought that counts. Um, and then I got him a box of celebrations. He wanted roses, but I couldn't find any. And I had a spare box. I was debating keeping them for myself, but then I thought to save money and, you know, so they don't go to waste because I don't, I already have like, if people know me, Greg always buys me sweets if they're on offer, so I have already loads. So there was no point in me taking this for myself. Um, but yes, I think there was, was there something else I was going to put on my mom or was that all? But it's just because I keep seeing things at work and I'm like, oh my god, yeah, I'll get these, this makes sense. Um, oh, okay, so I'm going to move on to my sisters. Okay, so I'm going on to Molly, who's my, she's my youngest, but she's the oldest out of the youngest of my sisters. Okay, so just to start this off, my sister molly has a massive okay so if anyone knows me and knows how much i'm obsessed with dash hounds she has about that much of an obsession with sloths like sloths are her thing like she loves sloths like so so much so she's gonna freak out and obviously i'm gonna be vlogging christmas like not all of it but i need to get her reaction of this like even vocally like i don't think she'll want to be on it physically but i want to just at least see her reaction if you'll let me um, i need to fix this box though because i'm want to like wrap it here because they never gave me like the other box for it but okay hold on okay you saw something but i got her this so it's a build a bear sloth if you couldn't tell and um, still has the little the little build a bear tag and um, she smells of strawberries and it's so nice so yeah and um, obviously it has an outfit i'll show you the outfit if i can get it out of here Okay, hold on is this all of it okay yeah, it is so i got it this little pajama set oh my god how cute is that that is so cute and these little rabbit slippers i was like oh my god she's gonna freak out so much so yeah that's one of them but i stupidly was really eager <laughs> to get this that i got it before black friday and it was quite expensive so it may not seem like she has a lot, but it's because it was kind of expensive that like, you know, it kind of, and then I felt bad and then I was like, oh no, I need to get more. And then I was like, Megan, stop it. Remember, it's not about how much you get. So to talk about, okay, we'll go to that next. So I also got her a Riverdale mug and it says property of the Riverdale Vixens. So that's exciting. She's going to love it. She's obsessed with Riverdale, Riverdale even. She literally re has been re-watching it for like ages. She watched it like one to four. I think season four is already out. Um, and then like re-watched it again, like straight after. Um, and I got her the Morphe 18A palette. For anyone that doesn't know what that looks like, I will show you. Well, this is what it looks like. Oh, like she just likes to experiment with eyeshadow so I thought like this would be good because she doesn't really have like a blue a blue one so I thought why not this will be fun for her for sure so next up obviously I got everyone sweets um so I got a chocolate sloth she's been wanting this chocolate sloth for like the longest time so i thought i have to get her this chocolate sloth and i also got her the white reese's and i actually got these today and i had to like be so sneaky because she was there but she'd like left but yes i got these two um for her okay so i am going to show you what i got for my sister lizzie so i'm just moving some of the stuff so i can show you like one of the things so 
Lucy's nine, but she's still so obsessed with her like babies. Like she loves her babies like so much. Um, she's like she always carries them with her. She always plays with them. Like it's so cute how much of an imagination she still has. So I decided to get her the baby born um baby carrier, um, and it'll fit our other dolls because they're round about the same size. So she's gonna freak out about it. Um, she's gonna really like that, and I'm excited to see her be face. And I also got this um outfit set because she's love been loving changing her doll's outfits because she got a bunch of clothes from one of her friends and she's loving changing the outfits and stuff and um, so i thought to do that and also get some other outfits um though i don't think she has the female baby born but i'm sure the little boy would look cute in this too um because boys can wear pink when it comes then i got this little Cute outfit. It was assorted and I had to get Greg's mum to pick it up because we were in tier four and then she had to come give it to us um, when we were out of tier four. So it's a really cute set. It's like a little body warmer with a shirt and like a little skirt. So that is really cute. Um, I also got her sweets too, which I left over here. Hold on. Because I got them all the, the giant, the giant um, chocolate soft girl. I think she came upstairs, but I'm not sure. I got, um, let's see, the chocolate reindeer. And I got her some Kinder Bond things. Um, I will, I'm just going to move some of these out of the way. And then I will like move on to some other ones. Hold on. So I thought I would do my grandma and cousins next. Um, and then I'll go on to like Greg and his family. Greg might need to get left to the end because I think I kind of got too much and it's kind of stressing me out of how much I got. But then he, I think it's because subconsciously I was like, for us, for a little bit, he was like, oh, I got this and this and this. And I was like, oh no, I have to get more. And then I, I realized and I was like, no, you don't, you can't afford it, like stop. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna start with my grandma. So I'm just gonna move these things over here. Which is, it's really funny because I was on the phone to my grandma and I'd already planned what I was getting her, which was like these satin personalised pyjamas. And I was on the phone to her and I was like, oh, like, so what do you want for your Christmas? Um, and she was like, oh, like satin silk pyjamas. And I was like, you're kidding. You're, like, you're actual kidding. So I got her, maybe I should take it. I'm going to take it out of this. So sorry about the loud noise. Because I'll need to take these out. So I'm going straight to wrapping after this. So. I don't think I'll need this part but I got her these pyjamas and it says grandma round the side so she's going to love it I'm kind of scared in case I got the wrong size though because on the on the Etsy page like I don't think I read the size incorrectly because it did say like medium was like eight to ten I think and then large was like four so like I'm not sure if they'll fit her but I'm really hoping that they will um I also got her this nice throw like yeah a large throw it's gonna be really like cozy because I think because she recently moved house although I think this one probably is quite warm but just if she wanted to like cuddle up and have a movie night this has gone kind of skew with since it's been in a bag for like months because I got this quite a while ago um but yeah I did get it from work but I took the price off of it um, but it feels so so soft so I think she's gonna like it Um, I also got her some truffles I don't actually know if she likes truffles but they kind of looked bougie so I was like my grandma kind of gives like she's not like I wouldn't say she's like low like no like I don't think all grandparents are like loaded but she's gets stuff like bougie vibes so I was like these are quite bougie so like I'll get those <laughs> um, and although my mum does party light, like, I kind of felt bad. I was like, I have to get these because as soon as I smelled these at work, I was like, I ha they just reminded me of my grandma and I was like, I have to get them just for that reason. Like they're eucalyptus and geranium. Um, and like, I love that smell, but it just reminded me of my grandma. So I really had to get these. Um, it's quite a refreshing scent. Um, and I'll move on to what I got for my cousin. I got my cousin this beautiful, oh my god, I can't remember what the actual, is it like a rose, like rainbow quartz, I think. It's a wand that promotes positivity and actually, and it comes, it came with like these, oh my gosh, like these, um, oh my gosh, what are they called? Crystals or 
so oh my god stones i think they're crystals um which was really really nice and if anyone's like interested in like this sort of stuff it's like check out crystal nature jewelry on um instagram that's where i got it from and like there was like a lovely little note that says thank you for your order have a have a great day with a love heart and a kiss which is so so nice and i know that my cousins like get stressed a lot so i thought it would be nice for her to have this nice little wand that promotes like positivity and i already actually started putting this in a box that i thought would be good for that so then i put like the little stones chris i think they're crystals like in here because i think they should really like it um although i don't know if it got bent when it was in the cupboard i really hope it didn't um because that would be sad um because it came in like one of these little bags but like i had like bubble wrap on it so maybe that is because i never took it out when i got it so i don't remember if that was the case um but yeah i also got her a bt21 heat changing mug um because she loves bts so do i by the way um and i was like oh my god she is going to love this i think um so yeah i got her the bt21 heat changing mug and i got her a morphe palette but i got her a different one this is the palette that i got my cousin i think she'll really like it i don't know if she probably has way too many you know, my grandma will probably get mad at me she'll be like oh my god like she has too many like can you not do that anymore <laughs> But as I say, you can't really have too many palettes. I got her some sweets, I got her the lint little things, then I thought that's kind of rubbish. Then I got her a chocolate satin. But this was only like 18p, so I was like, I can't really complain about 18p for a Santa. <laughs> um and my cousin isn't finished. My other cousin Charlie, he's not finished because this looks kind of lame. Um I just I needed to get an Xbox credit thing but i couldn't find one where i was so i'm gonna go online and print it off because they're coming they're part of our household um, and they're coming down on christmas day and i thought it'd be better if i printed it off then so then i could just give him it straight away um but i got him the pre-market exclusive special edition glow in the dark um gamer verse thor um he really likes his avengers although i think his favorite's captain america pardon me but i think he'll still like it because it's an exclusive my grandma might be like, he's got too many Funko Pops now. I and mean, obviously I got him the same. I wanted to keep him the same. And the reason I never got Molly and Lucy the same is because Lucy doesn't like the other chocolate that I got Molly. Okay, so that is me done at my main family, like my mum, dad, sisters and cousins. Um, yeah, I'll leave Greg to the end because that's a lot to get through. Um, I'll start off with his mum. Like his mum wants one isn't finished, obviously. Um, there's two things I need to do actually so her main gift I'm going to take it out of the box I'm going to have to be really careful it's a party light jar candle it's cranberry and prosecco oh it smells so nice so it's a three wick jar candle and you get like this little it kind of like works as a coaster um but she loves candles and party light candles so I was like I have to like get her this plus my mum does party light so it was nice to be able to support her business and my mum had some tea lights around that I was going to put in like a little fabric -y bag thing um so she would have like tea lights as well um, and also get her a gin gift set and I also got her some of those truffles because I thought that that would be quite nice um okay then Greg's dad so I'm seeing Greg on the 23rd um because obviously i made sure with him that like it was okay because he's just been desperate to see me because he's really hated not being able to see me it's three months on the 22nd and then i see him the next day anyway but he's really hated not seeing me um like i don't really go anywhere anyway so he was like it's okay like Ari is health plus he seems to be quite like well i've not seen you for so long like it doesn't matter and i'm like it does matter but his dad's birthday is on the 23rd so i had to get him an extra gift for his birthday because i felt bad i just need to remember to put it like happy birthday um so he really likes old spice so i got him oh my god the scissors are in there um so i got him a old spice gift set apparently there's a touch to smell which is a bit bizarre um so it comes with a shower gel shampoo and then a deodorant body spray so that's what he's getting for his birthday 
And then what I got him for Christmas was this Cozy Winter Hot Chocolate Gift Set that I did get from work. I honestly feel like I got so much things from work, but we have discount at the moment. So I was like, and plus it's been more because of the, the, um, what do you call it? The pandemic, that's the word. Don't know why that word left me there. <laughs> um, and then I got him just a regular box of quality sheets. Um, just because I had no idea what else to get him at the time. So I was like, that's Greg's parents sorted. And then for Greg's brother, I was kind of stuck on, like he's not that hard to buy for, but I got him a personal, a customized, personalized, personalized slash customized quality sheet box. This says Raw Street, which is funny. Um, and his favorites were the orange, kind of like, what one's it? Okay, wait a minute. Let me find out what they're called. The orange chocolate crunch ones and the caramel swirl. So that's what he's got in there. I'm just gonna pop that there. Then I got him the dupe aftershave that he likes. Oh, he did also get a little card. His one I think just said, Merry Christmas, hope you enjoy your face sweets. Lots of love, Megan. I just say lots of love to everyone. Um, so this is his favorite aftershave. I was gonna get him the bigger one, but then the bigger one wasn't a spray. It was more like a little, you know, you spray pop it on and I was like I don't really think Ross will care about the faffing so like you don't think he'll want the faff so I was like I'll just get the spray and it'll like be easier and um, okay now I'll move on to Greg one of his things hasn't arrived yet it's got delayed with the post office but I have got him a lot and it's like oh no um I feel like I've done really well with not having as much overtime well, having no overtime um like that sort of thing with work sorry i'm just like trying to move these so that i can because i kept all this stuff in a bag i'm really sorry that you can see my plug there's nail polish on it my, like i just haven't managed to get it off and like oh, my sister just destroy my room all the time but that's a different story i feel like i'm going to go for this specific one because it's quite big and it's like over there so hold on greg my fiance is obsessed with pokemon and he really wanted this funko pop for the longest time and I really hope his mum doesn't kill me, which I feel like she is. So if you don't hear from me for a while, I've been killed. <laughs> um, so yes, I got him the 10 inch Pikachu Funko Pop. Um, he's gonna freak, I think he's gonna really like it because he's been wanting this one for ages, but it's like kind of expensive. And I was like, sure. I think that was one of the first things I bought him because I was like, he's been going on about this for so long. Like I have to get it. His favorite Pokemon is Squirtle though. Like that's not his favorite Pokemon, but he just really wanted that one. Pardon me. Um, yeah, okay, I'll go with this one next. Okay, so he's been really obsessed with the Mandalorian at the moment. He's been watching the series on Disney Plus. Um, I really need to watch it though because because I haven't seen him in ages, like, no, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna spot, I'm not gonna say it. You'll find out in the vlog. But yeah, so he's been obsessed with the Mandalorian, especially, was, what did he say his name was? Groga, which is the child's name. So my work, we're doing these cushions. So I got him the Baby Yoda. I'll say Baby Yoda because I can't remember his name. The child cushion, because I thought it was cute. And he seemed to like the sound of that when I said that work had that. Um, I was kind of disappointed with the sizing of this, um, thanks Disney, um, the Disney store, um, I don't know, I, I usually look at the description for sizing but for some reason this time I didn't, um, so yeah, but I got him this plush of Baby Yoda from the Disney store, um, it was on offer though because it was in Black, Black Friday weekend, I was like god, because the Disney store is like expensive sometimes well quite a lot of the time like they had a giant stitch like it was giant for like 80 quid and I was like that's a lot of money for like a plush but yeah I got him this little baby Yoda um he's I think he'll love it um oh yeah I got him the Primark exclusive Funko exclusive 2020 fall convention limited edition the child with a pendant Funko Pop which he's going to love he's been he really wanted that one but I was like my work sold out like we don't have any we're not getting any more in I felt awful um <coughs> sorry my mouth's like really dry and ever since I've had tonsillitis my voice gets sounds like this like all the time 
like every so often like if i talk too much it's probably telling me to shut up and get, move along um while these are at the top i got him a big box of maltesers maltesers is his favorite and then because he likes the kinder bueno white ones i thought why not just get him a pack of them because why not i couldn't really think and i was getting really fed up of being in the shop like it was just stressing me out um the one the thing i got him that hasn't arrived yet was a human torch funko pop from fantastic four um, and then i got him these xbox joggies that says like i guess yeah it says xbox down the side um obviously he's obsessed with xbox i was gonna try and get him credit but i don't know it depends how much i have i didn't get paid as much this month so like it just really depends on that um and then i got him this xbox t-shirt and there is another xbox t-shirt in here which is this nice bright green one so that's the back of it and then on the front it just like basic green and then it says xbox um so yeah that's all that i've got i'm just gonna put these back in here you like see sometimes when you see things you're like oh i thought there was loads but like they're not but like it adds all adds up and it's like a lot but yeah that's what i've got for everyone um i will put that if any of you like the crystal wand that i got for my cousin i will pop the link to their instagram in the description if you want to check it out she has some really nice stuff and her name's also megan so you know what can i say and um, but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're all looking forward to celebrating the holidays and celebrating whatever you celebrate um because i know not everyone celebrates christmas um but yes i hope you guys i've already said that sorry i'm just like really excited now to get all the stuff wrapped and um, obviously i'll have to sneak some things into other bags because they won't all be done yet but fingers crossed that can happen before christmas day and it's not gonna go wrong but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye